a non constant polynomial of degree d with coefficients in a ring or field is said to be reducible if it can be expressed as a product of two different factors with each factor having degree less than d and having coefficients in the same ring or field let's take this polynomial for example the coefficients of this polynomial are 1 5 and 6 which are all integers this polynomial can be expressed as a product of these two factors the degrees of both these factors are less than the degree of the given polynomial and the coefficients of both these factors are all integers so basically the coefficients of the given polynomial are integers and the coefficients of its factors are also integers so the given polynomial is reducible over the set of all integers let's now consider this polynomial the coefficients of this polynomial are 1 and 16 by 9 which are both rational numbers this polynomial can be expressed as a product of these two factors the degrees of both these factors are less than the degree of the given polynomial and the coefficients of both these factors are rational numbers so basically the coefficients of the given polynomial are rational numbers and the coefficients of its factors are also rational numbers so the given polynomial is reducible over the set of all rational numbers let's now take this polynomial whose coefficients are all integers just like in the previous examples this polynomial can be expressed as a product of these factors the degrees of both these factors are less than the degree of the given polynomial but the coefficients of these two factors are not all integers so it's tempting for us to assume that the given polynomial is irreducible over integers but what about this third term is this a non unit integer factor of the given polynomial if yes then this polynomial would be reducible over integers otherwise it will be irreducible so is the number 3 a non unit element in the set of all integers well of course it is because the only unit elements in the set of all integers are 1 and minus 1 so this polynomial over integers can be expressed as a product of two non integer factors and one integer factor so the given polynomial is reducible over integers let's now take this polynomial the coefficients of this polynomial are all integers this polynomial can be expressed as a product of these two factors the degrees of both these factors are less than the degree of the given polynomial also the coefficients of both these factors are integers so the given polynomial is reducible over integers let's now take this polynomial whose coefficients can be expressed as rational numbers this polynomial can be written as a product of these two factors the degrees of these two factors are less than the degree of the given polynomial and the coefficients of these two factors are rational numbers so the coefficients of this polynomial are rational numbers and the coefficients of its factors are also rational numbers so this polynomial is reducible over rational numbers let's take a look at this polynomial from another perspective The coefficients of this polynomial are integers. This polynomial can be written as a product of these two factors. The degrees of each of these two factors are less than the degree of the given polynomial, and the coefficients of these two factors are integers. So the coefficients of the given polynomial are integers, and the coefficients of its factors are also integers. So the given polynomial is reducible over integers. This example leads us to a well-known result of reducibility of polynomials. This result states that if a polynomial is reducible over rational numbers, then it must also be reducible over integers.